Hello you guys, I'm back and I'm just going to show you how I care for my finger comber unit. Just how I wash it and just keep it nice because I had it for a while and it still looks good to me. So let's start. Okay, so I'm actually using my kitchen sink. I'm just running some warm water right now. And to that water I'm going to add some conditioner. This is my Trader Joe's conditioner. I love it, just got it. And I'm just going to put like two tablespoons of it in my water. As you see, it's all stringy. But once I add the shampoo, it will kind of melt away with the bubbles. It's weird. But just keep adding until I feel like it's enough. Now for the shampoo, I'm using VO5. Nothing special. This doesn't damage the hair at all. So it's still soft. As you see, it's kind of swirls in with that conditioner and I don't put too much water just enough to soak it in not to fill up the whole sink so I place the hair into the what do you call it solution I guess you know the mixture and I kind of just swivel it around I'm not rough with the hair I just kind of pick it up place it down just kind of swirl it in get it coated until it feels you know soft and I leave it for like five minutes and let you know the shampoo and conditioner work itself into the hair. After five minutes, you can see the water is a little bit murky. Uh, so I just kind of let the water flow out. And to rinse the hair off, I use cool water, not necessarily like freezing cold but just cool and it kind of helps set the curl and leave the hair really shiny so I like that as you can see I'm just rinsing and if you can see I don't know if the light I'm kind of standing in the way of the light but you will see it's shiny I really like it and the one thing I like about rinsing it up with cool water the cool water kind of helps set the curl even though I did not twist the hair prior to washing it which you can if you want a more defined twist out but me I'm more of a natural I don't like defined defined look so the more frizzy or whatever the better for me of course it gets bigger over time and I love it so for me the older the better for me Okay, now I'm just going to place it on a towel. I'm not necessarily like going to rub the towel over it, but I will take the towel and pat it dry just to get it from being so soaking wet. And the one thing I do like, this hair does not take long to dry. You just pat it a little bit and it basically the towel soaks up most of the water because it's in synthetic hair. It doesn't necessarily just sit in the hair fibers. It just falls off like just slips right off uh, as you can see the bottom is more defined than the top because I do a lot with the top I tend to twist my own hair into it because I just like for my own hair to be out so I got my little diva wig you know just to put the hair on and for the top as you can see it's not as defined as the back so sometimes I twist it if I want it to be defined in certain areas if I don't want to twist the whole thing and I leave it until it's dry to untwist or until I'm ready to wear it again and I leave it on the wig head to dry um, I think it takes like an hour it just depends on where I set the hair if it's in an open area well ventilated area it does not take long at all so I could pretty much wash the hair in a day and wear it at night if I wanted to but uh, yeah that's it it's pretty simple to take care of this hair had it for a long time, like I said, since March, and I still have it. It's still going strong. I love it. I get compliments all the time. Everyone thinks this is my real hair. So for me, this was a great purchase. And for a code below, you can use my code at the website, which is Black Buffinette, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.